the wrinkly babe. Hello, hello everybody. How are you today? Hello. Say hello when you're here. Then we'll know you're here and you can see us. <laughs> How is everybody today? I hope you're feeling fine. Yesterday was pretty chilly. When I left the shop yesterday, there was sleet halfway down my windscreen. And Brenda was getting excited because it looked like snow. And I said, but it's horrible. <laughs> you don't want snow. It's horrible. <laughs> snow is lovely for a couple of minutes or up on the tops of mountains to look at. Um, yep, yeah, so do say hello if you can see us. Let's make sure that we're going okay. We seem to be looking. Hello, Sue. Yes, we are live. Yay! <laughs> and we have eight people. Lovely. Well, how are you all today? Hi, Cheryl. How are you today? I hope you're all keeping warm. I've got my nice woolly that my mum knitted for me on today. And on my woolly, I put these buttons, which were my grandma's buttons. So it's it's quite special. I like this little vest thing that I have to keep me warm. Hello, Jill. How are you today? Hope you're all well. And Fiona, sunny in Raglan. Yeah, sunny in Masterton too today. Hi, Elaine. Lovely to see you all. We've got some exciting stuff lined up for you today. Brenda's just finishing making the tea because we were just going through our checklist and she said to me, so have you printed out the list of the, of the giveaway winners, possible winners? And I went, um, I downloaded it. <laughs> I put it into our system, but I hadn't printed it out. So thank you, Brenda. Cup of teas here. Brenda's here. All is well with the world. So she's just closing the door to Siberia, which is our <laughs> toilet, kitchen and stockroom called Siberia. Very Hello, cool. Mavis. Hi, Heather. Hi, Diane. Hi, Karen. So nice to see you all. Hello, Yay! everyone. Team We're back. back. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the terrible twosome is here again. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so we, we said we've got a lot lined up to show you today. Um... One yeah, yesterday I was going seem to be spending all day getting this stuff ready. <laughs> we do too. Amazing. I said, how well, busy we are. some weeks we're just going to have to have a fall back and not, not do quite so much in one day, but that's okay. Oh thank you, Cheryl. Yes, aren't they lovely these mugs? I like my mug. It's cool. I like the tape measury thing on the end there. It's lovely. It's really fun. Yeah. I like the pink bits. Well yeah. You're a pink girl. <laughs> I am a pink like girl. Pink. Yes. Hello, Elaine. Oh, you're homesick. Oh, we can hopefully make you feel a bit better, but it's kind of kind of a, a nice thing, isn't it? If you're homesick, you can watch all your Facebook lives. That's nice. Do a little bit of sewing if you're yeah. allowed, if you're able to. If you're able to, mm. yeah. Cool. Hello, Kay. Nice to see you today. So, it's all go in the shop. Um, oh, what have we been doing this week? Busy, busy. Oh, we've had busy. um. What is this week? We don't. Well, end of last week, we got all the oh, mysteries yes. out. The mysteries went out. Yep. Yes. Hello, Lola. <laughs> and yes. This week, so what we've been doing? just been starting cutting more mysteries. Yep. See a bit. Chasing up fabric and ordering yep. fabric so that we've got some and yep. all that stuff. And today, we've been choosing the colourways for the next one, but we won't tell them. That's very Not exciting. Yet. Keep your ears tuned to that. It's very, very exciting. Oh, yeah. The mug with the scissors. I like the purple with the mug with the scissors. They're fun, too. Yeah. Who was that? Elaine. Oh, Elaine. Elaine. Yeah, the purple ones the are nice, the actually. Handle with yep. the scissors. Yeah, they're lovely. Although so, I'm not sure about the two holes. I think you told, you told them about um, Hawke's Bay last week, didn't you? Well, no. So oh. what happened last week was there was this little... Um, Oh, shall I get the flyer? Flyers? Yes, there was a little flyer on my board here to remind me, and of course the flyer was in the way of all my words, and I couldn't see what I was doing, so I whipped the flyer off, and then I actually forgot to tell you about it. So we're going to tell you about it this week. It's our little pop-up store called um, Crafty the Fix. The Crafty Fix. So this is really exciting. Yes. So 4th and 5th of September, we are coming to Havelock North. 
with um, Lindy from Stitchbird and Robin from Fox's Cottage and Yarn Therapy, Joe from Yarn Therapy. And we're doing a little pop-up shop um, and we're going to do some demos as well. So nice. that is going to be really fun. Oh, hi, Leanne. It would make a nice girls' day out or weekend out. Yeah, yeah. Be Come great. visit us. It would be lovely. It might even be almost spring by then. Oh, Ooh. hope so. Be warm. Mm. Yes, so we've been. So that's our next job, really, is planning what we're going to bring and what we're going to show you and all that stuff. Yep, that's a big so, job coming up. Yes, and then we'll be packing the car up and driving yep. up and yep. all that fun. All the fun things. It's actually quite <laughs> nice to go away and do a bit of something different, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. It's yeah. lovely. So let's get down to what we're going to show you. We've got a project to show you. Um, it's a bit of a funny one because we've only got one pattern and there's some stuff that goes with it. And it was something that I spotted one year when I was in Houston. Shall we hold it up? I'll hold it up. Yeah, okay, thank you. So I saw these quilts in Houston and I just thought they were gorgeous. Um, they use chenille tape. So this is called Butterfly Garden. Is it showing up? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. And Brenda made this lovely sample. So let, we'll do a bit of a show and tell, hopefully close up. So let's bring it over here so we can see kind of the quilt. Um, basically, you quilt. The best thing to do is to quilt just the background, the background just like some plain white, um, and then lay on your applique. And then, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's all fluffy. Woo! So there's, what you do is you stitch this tape around, and then when you wash it, the tape all fluffs up. What's the tape here? This is the tape. So Chenille it, it's called. It's called Chenille it, yeah. So these usually are about $28 a pack, and you need four packs. I think you need three pot. picks. Is it three? No, four packs. Four packs. Four yeah, packs. it is because yes, you've got, got it around the binding. Well. Around the binding. So, so there's a, a hot pink and a light pink and a grey, and then of course you also need the pattern. Um, but we've decided that we're not going to stock it ongoing in the shop, which is a bonus because it means that we have one to put to sell to you. So um, this there's one only. I think it was supposed to be. We're over a hundred dollars. It is over a hundred dollars. We've yeah. already marked it down for the pattern and the chenille tape. We've got it marked down to eighty-five, uh, to eighty. Yeah. But I'm going to mark it down another five dollars, so seventy-five. So it'll be first in, best dressed to grab the chenille tape and the pattern. It was fun to do as well. It was really just lovely. fun, and yep. lovely and beautiful. Yep. So there we go. There's one of those. That's our project to show you this week. <laughs> That's good. Um. And then we have some fabric that's just arrived in that I'm kind of like falling in love with. I don't know if Brenda's in love with it or not. Well, I like I like this one. Yes. Um, this one, gorgeous. this is Wishwell fabric. So this has caps on and the caps have got a sort of a glitter. You can kind of see the sheen on there. Isn't it cute? I do like it's it. It's called Twilight something. Twilight Zone, is it? No, Twilight. To totally, totally Twilight. Twilight. So we got two prints from the range. Is this one with the cats with the flowers? Can't see this one. And this one is really kind of Twilight and Halloweeny, and it's um, a candelabra. Oh, you can really see it well on there, can't you? And um, cobwebs and roses and and glitter. And I just thought they were just something a bit special. They are. They're beautiful. Yeah. So if you're wanting any of those, it's called Totally Twilight, and it's okay, up on the website. I'm all back to front today. Yeah, yeah they, they look beautiful. lovely. So we've had quite a few deliveries the last week or so. Um, some more of Christmas fabric came in, and um, some of our metallics, like golden, black and black with gold, and black with silver, and red with silver, and all that stuff Beautiful. that we were topping up. So we got those in. We also got in a Grinch fabric. So if you're doing the Grinch advent calendar, we have got a green. Should I go and get it? Oh yeah, let's show them that too. It's <laughs> fair point just describing it, eh? Hello, Tanya. <laughs> So this would be great on the back of the advent calendar, wouldn't it? 
Merry Grinchmas. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Um, yeah, so quite a few new things arrived in. Some of our, our gold screens. Um, Do you want some of rather our, No, 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 it's all right. Greens and reds and blacks with stars and golds and swirlies and They're stuff on the like that. I have a plan. Oh, sounds good. I have a plan for the black and silver. Nice. So more about that maybe in a couple of weeks' time. Yep. Yeah. So we're on to, should we do the new arrival and what's this for? Now, new arrival and what's this for are both the same item this week. So if you read the email this morning, the new arrivals is the fusing mat. Oh, now, we're going to try a bit of technical trickery in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to see if it works. It, it? Uh, okay, yeah. But well, this is the box. <laughs> <laughs> Not much We've help. got it out of the box to show you. Because Brenda's going to... We're going to try to do a little demo. So we need to get into our little iPad with our finger, finger marks. Ooh, which finger was it? That, oh, here we go. Right, now, we're, we're just going to try this, so bear with us a moment, because we're going to try to connect. Allow that, but we're going to, um, we're going to have, might have a bit of funny sounds for a minute. I just need to mute. There we go. Okay. So, Brenda is now joining on an interview. <laughs> so and I'm going to show you the camera. Let's see. Guest is in the green room. Let's bring her in. Okay, she's on my left hand side. Isn't that great? Woohoo! So, this is the fuse mat. So, there you go, Brenda. How do we use this fuse mat? Fuse mat. Okay, so the fuse mat is um, a, a nice silicon, soft silicon, actually, rubbery kind of feel. And it's clear, you can see through it. So, the beauty of this is that you can actually see your pictures through it. So you can lay your fabric on the top of this silicon mat and, and know exactly where you want all your um, what's it? Applique, pieces. applique pieces to go. Sorry, <laughs> It's off-putting because the, the iPad's playing an echo and we haven't figured out how to get rid of it. So I do apologise about that. But, oh, I'm trying not to move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing with me camera. <laughs> so once you've got all your applique pieces in position where you'd like them to be, you can then remove your pattern from underneath and then on your ironing board you've got your fabrics and then you're going to put your um, mat on the top that you're going to iron on to protect your fabric. That's pretty cool. Hey? So what's really good about this, and then you'll pick up your fabrics and then you're going to place them. Excuse me a moment. I'm oh, sorry. To... I'm just trying not to get sound coming back, but it is. We're getting a bit of feedback, but that's all right. Sorry about that, people. Okay, so imagine you've got your applique pieces on them on there. Yep, and then you've got them in place wherever you want them. You're going to use your silicon mat to cover it to protect your iron, so you don't get all the sticky adhesive um, steamer thing. But it's terrible that echo, isn't it? And then you're going to iron, and then everything's in place, and then you can remove your pattern pieces that would be on here and then you can put them in place where you'd like them on your quilt. So the beauty of this is being able to see through very yeah. clearly. And also you can lift the thing up on the mat, can't you? And yep, yeah. yeah. So you can lift the whole mat up. So you can like assemble it all, iron it together yep. and then lift the whole thing as one piece and pop it on your background. Probably would have been easy if I had more just amazing. pieces to show you like the fabric and stuff to guide you through it, but sorry. Well, it, it was, it was a quick idea at the last minute to, <laughs> to try and demo. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I hope yeah, you can all see how that works. But I, I think I want one of those for my dolly mixtures. I actually bought one a long time mm. ago. I just love mine. So, yeah. yeah. They are really cool. They are really cool. And yet you can see through this as well, even the... Um, oh, yeah, the Teflon. The teflon yeah. mat. And that Teflon looks it. tougher than the it separate is. Teflon. So we do have the single little Teflon mats that are cheaper. Which are useful, but that is extremely useful, I think. Mm. Yeah, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to hang up now. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, that echo was a bit weird. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on that technology to uh, try and do little demos for you. 
We might be a bit more prepared next time. Yeah. Sorry about that, peoples. <laughs> we haven't figured out how to stop the iPad sound. We've turned it right, right down. Mm. They are cool, Linda, aren't they? Yeah, I like these. They're very good. And I think they're probably quite a good price, actually. We've got them at 78 I think. Right. Yes, 78 for these, which is a pretty good price, I think. So... What are we going to do next? Next, well... The pick of the week. Dun, 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 dun. It's the pick of the week time. Oh, we should have had that marked. Or did you have that marked? Yes, I have. Oh, look at that. <laughs> She's organised. I've got a bookmark in. There we go. So we decided a project from this book, which is called More Weekend Sewing. So one of those lovely $20 Andy's books, which has a lot of projects in. So I thought let's put together a little kit to make the drawstring bag and so oh hi JD <laughs> so we can um oh, my JD yeah oh, <laughs> so you can get the book and then you could buy as many kits as you like depending on what the how many bags you want to make um but the advantage of this is you're not having to buy the whole full width of fabric we're putting putting it together as a kit so the kit has ended up being, should be 28, but I reduced it to 20 for this week only. Um, and the book is 20. So you could buy the book and buy as many kits as you like. We've put two kits together. The first one is the pandas. So we've got the pandas as our feature fabric. And there's a little bit that goes across the top, contrast, which is this one. And then for the lining and the handles, yep. we thought that would be fun. And we've got a bit of, we have some of this um, piping cord. We only have navy, but it'll work with this. So we're throwing that in so that you'd have a piece of that. I think this uses about three metres. And then the other one. That's a nice one for little girls. Very sweet pandas. Or little boys who like pandas. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and this is for little girls or little boys who like dinosaurs so this is this is the last of this dinosaur fabric so I think we've got enough to make about six kits from this hi Denise and so we've got that for the feature we've got the stripes for the contrast let me see if I can put them together <laughs> without making a mess Dinosaur for the feature. It's also a really nice sort of project to use those directional fabrics so you don't have to worry about which way round they go because they just go the way they're going to go, which would be nice. And then for our lining, okay. we've got lovely orange, which okay. is the cross stitch, Alison Glass cross stitch fabric. It looks a bit, it's more orange than it looks on the screen. It looks a little bit red on the screen, but. It kind of matches the orange on the dinosaurs. We went through a few oranges too. We did. Decide. We had a little discussion about oranges, <laughs> tangerines, and clementines, clementines and things. Yes. So we, we decided together on the orange. We compromised. We decided on that orange. <laughs> we did indeed. Orange is a very fussy colour. It is colour. actually. It's a difficult mm. colour, but I do like orange. Yes. So we found the right orange. Indeed. <laughs> So those kits will be up after the tea at three when I put them live and put them in stock. Um, so you might want to have a little weekend sewing and make some little drawstring bags. They're only quite small, oh, um, big, only about 10 by 12 high. Um, but they've got a nice little, um, the drawstring is on the lining. So they'd be really cute little gifts or, you know, just because type of things. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's a spectre front yeah. business. Yeah. I find so it that, very hard. That's what the bag looks like. Does it have a there size on the bag? Um yes it does. It says it's ten inches by twelve inches by three inches. Mm. So it's like a, nice a tote little, bag. It is actually. It's got a box bottom which is nice. It'd be nice to put a gift in it and give it as a gift. It would. No. Yes. It doesn't have to yeah. be for the little ones, it could be for oh, yourself nice too. Little quick project to do. Yeah, I'd like one for me. Here we go. Shopping she wants again. Me to make her one now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I <haven't> got time. <laughs> That's the thing. We need to buy some time. No, I could. I could just go right today. I'm going to make a couple of those bags. And you mm. could have it done. You could. Hmm. So okay. What's list? next? Our giveaway draw. Uh, have no? we done? No, we haven't done Fabiosa's find yet. Oh. So if you got the email this morning. 
Some Fabio's have found some. The so there's a little story to this. I've been working on developing. I'm developing. We're getting a new website because the website on, that we have at the moment is all great for quilting shops, but it's really designed for American quilting shops. And so they don't even give us the option of having New Zealand as our domestic shipping. Although it's there, it doesn't kind of default to it. It's clumsy. And we can only use PayPal to process the credit cards. And then people think they need a PayPal account, which they don't. And it's just a clumsy old website. And so we've had it for probably eight or nine years now. So we are moving to a new platform that's going to be a lot more modern and slick. But <laughs> to move over, we've had to export all the products and then import them into the new system. And it only brought in about half of the photos. So poor old Carl <laughs> is sitting at home <laughs> uploading photo files. <laughs> so we thought, well, where there's ranges where they're nearly gone... What's the point in taking all the time to upload the photos again? Let's just sell the fabric. So we decided we're going to work it. Well, that's one of the reasons why we're working through some of these fabrics to get them moved on. So we have found, we sent our Fabiosa off to find what can we offer to move things along and clear up some collections. So this is the stitch in time. So these are all on sale this week, this week only while they last. There's only... It's probably about a metre and a half on most of them. Some of them are a little bit more. Um, so there's the irons, the spools and the buttons. So really, really useful for gifts. They would make some really good oh, drawstring they would. bags. Wouldn't they? <gasps> mm. And we've got um, Tea Time, Tea Licious, which is by um, Annie and Downs, Patched. Hatched and Patched, which... Yeah, actually, so has gone pretty. very well, but there is a bit left. There is a bit left. So, they're very pretty. I so have a piece of each of those. Most of those are blenders, um, little little tiny floral there. And then there's this one, which is gorgeous, which has all the little tea things on bits it's of so cake pretty. and mugs and cupcakes and Can you imagine mug rugs spoons and a little bag? Very, very cute. Mm. Yay. So those are all on sale. They're already on sale on the website. So if you want some of those, go and grab them before they've gone. Hopefully they'll be gone by next week. It would be good. <laughs> Hopefully not into my stash. Mm. <laughs> yes, that happened Oops. one other time, didn't it? It, it did. Like, Oops. It did happen one other time. Well, actually more than once. But... Yes. So. <laughs> um, I think it must be giveaway time. Giveaway time. Right. So, Brenda realised that um, the bags that we put the giveaways in were a little bit crinkly, especially when you hold them up. Hello, Denny, don't worry, you can watch us again. <laughs> especially when you hold them up, you know, and you're going, look at this, look at this. It's going crackle, crackle. It was going so, crackle, we're taking crackle. them out bags this week. So, we're going to do the you draw. Do the draw first? Okay. Let's do the draw Let's first. Do the draw. So, so, the draw is actually for some of the lovely stitch, stitch in time fabric. So, we've got this one which is B and the irons and the mustard which is A. So for A how many people have we got Brenda? 22. 22 people okay so I've got A in uh, 22 in. Number two is the winner. Number two is oopsie Margaret. Number two. Margaret. Margaret who? No, Margaret, just... Um... Boone. I think we think Boone from the email address. So congratulations to Margaret. Hi, Carol. So she's won A, which is the irons and the mustard grunge. Very nice. And for B, I think we had a lot more people, didn't we? B is like super full. So B goes up to 57. <laughs> 57. Wow. Okay. Drum roll, please. Everybody wants B. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Number be. 11 is Number the winner. 11. Paula. Paula. Maybe Cole. Paula Cole. Congratulations, Paula. So well done, winners. Exciting. If you didn't win this week, you've got another chance again now. 
Yahoo. Oh, yes. Sorry. So what are we going to give away this week, Brenda? This week we have lovely Alison glass, and I mm. really love what you've added with those. Let me show you these. So this is a... Um, this fabric is like an ombre, a rainbow ombre. So I kind of got to open it up to show you it properly. So, so I think you get both repeats on the on the width of fabric, don't you, when you buy I'm this? I'm not sure how that one goes. I can't remember. So, anyway, look at that. Ooh. That's from the Leumptious. Oh, right. So the rainbow goes along the width of fabric, along the selvage. So um, across the selvage is looks like all the same across. Yeah. That's really nice. That, but not just the fabric. We've got these little Allison glass zipper pulls. So it's a rainbow rainbow flower, and you can put that on your zipper. So we thought those were very cool. So there's one of those. That's A. It's going to be hard to decide this week which one you like best. Okay, so B is also you get a zipper pull. And this is her feathers fabric, which is absolutely scrumptious. I mean, if you like colour as much as I do. Ooh, look at that. That's yummy. Pretty. So those are our prizes this week. So I've put the link in the email this morning. And I think I also put it in the Facebook thing when I was saying... You know, when I did the announcement, so it should actually be in this post, I think. Don't don't uh, hold me to that, but <laughs> if not, it'll be in the email that comes out on Friday as well. Um, but check check your inbox for the email that came this morning, because there is a link in there too. So go and, and do that. I know, Denny, wow. <laughs> Which one are you going to go for? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, cool prizes this week. Beautiful so prizes this do week. Do fill in the form and um, we'll wish you luck for next week and do have some happy sewing during the week. Um, if you're interested in any of the offers, they're on the website now and the pick of the week will be on in about half an hour or so when I pop it into stock. So have a lovely week, everybody. Happy sewing. Happy stitching, everyone. And enjoy yourselves. Bye. Keep warm. Bye.